Hi everyone, this is Alex Coulomb, and today I'm looking forward to showing you a little bit of what we have with the new OpenXR plugins from HTC. Uh, technically, they are the, the Vive Wave Android OpenXR plugins, but I want to show you a couple maps here. One is uh, going to let you move around um, different elements and click things and kind of see how all those inputs are registering through the OpenXR setup. This is Unreal Engine, by the way. We have the same project available for 4.27 as well as 5.0. And so you see right here, as we click, we're getting these responses and you get the whole log of that. And then we're just gonna move over to um, the second map. Okay, so here we have uh, just the controllers. Controllers doing their thing. Enter, exit, enter, double enter. Exit, exit, click, 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 click. Kind of says what's going on, and there's a quit game button. Uh, so that's all fine. Just real basic input kind of stuff, but if I put down, oh, I can do gaze too. Cool, there's some gaze input. Okay, so there's a bunch of inputs. We got controllers, we got gaze, and then if I put down my controllers, I should be able to get some hand tracking. Yeah, oh, there we go, look at that. Look at that hand tracking. And then the controllers are still there and I can do some click, 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 click. Real nice inputs. Click, click. And I can even yeah, go back to the menu this way too, by the way. Yep. <laughs> if I can keep the, the hands in view. Yarr. I feel like um, Jack Skellington. Cool. Okay, so there's that. And then let me try to bring the, the wrist trackers into this. Now, unfortunately, when you want to use both of your uh, wrist trackers, or actually use them at all, you actually need to unpair your controllers. So what I have to do now is I go to the upper right, and I say unpair controllers to pair wrist trackers. Currently paired controllers must be unpaired. I hope that changes soon. Um, not only would I like there to be <laughs> Uh, a way to, you know, not have to unpair things, but it'd be great if we could have wrist trackers and hand trackers and hand tracking, sorry, wrist trackers, controllers, and hand tracking all at the same time, but uh, not yet. So, now for doing the wrist trackers, I'm going to go and hold down the little pair button on them. Da -ba 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 -ba. The wrist trackers don't actually show up in the menu. I, I bet that'll change soon. But we'll see uh, with the first OpenXR sample here that the wrist trackers will just show up as, you know, simple little toruses. And that's fine, but there's not really like... Oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> the button on the wrist trackers actually does respond here. That's kind of cool. Right. Uh, what about the button on top? Yeah, that responds as a button. Uh, the right one does, sorry, the left one does, but not the right one. Right, because the left one is bringing the main menu back up. Interesting. And there's no hand tracking in this one. Not the other one, it's just for hands. Um, but yeah, I can use the wrist trackers to just go back into here. And then there's my hand tracking, and I can say quit content. Okay. And then I can just go right over to here. And then this one should have the wrist trackers, I think. Yeah, there's the wrist trackers. So you can actually see, you can see my hand tracking uh, while I hold the wrist trackers. So the thing that might be a little bit different um, that you'll see with the hand tracking is if I tell the wrist trackers to be calibrated to actually um, work with my um, hand tracking, I think it'll actually improve the quality of what I'm getting for hand tracking, though what I'm getting right now is fairly solid. Yeah. Um, in any case, let me just try going back and telling these to be paired as um, things I'm going to use for wrist tracking. Okay. Let's find out. Zoop. Quit content. And then... We'll go back into our input here. You can see the wrist trackers right there. 
we'll go over to inputs and we'll see um, for the controller over here. Um, I don't know if I can tell it to switch over to hand tracking calibration right away because again before I just told it to, to act basically as a as a Vive tracker essentially so let me try calibration success okay so now it says calibration success and in theory these are now helping to improve my hand tracking no no I don't want to impair them ah, gotta get out of here okay let's go back to the um, natural hand tracking here and we'll see if I notice a difference well yeah you see where the wrist trackers are they're on my wrist and I can't tell you right away if this is improving the hand tracking. I mean, really, it should be improving the wrist tracking. And in fact, um, I can tell you that it isn't quite showing the wrist trackers where they actually are, because of course my wrists actually go through the um, the wrist trackers here. So it should be like looking down a tunnel to the hands. Um, so I don't think this is quite set up yet to be used for improving the hand tracking, but Okay, you know what? I'm totally wrong about the, uh, the wrist trackers. I need to eat my words for a moment. Uh, see, the wrist trackers are connected right now. And check this out. So you see what's special about what I'm doing? Is um, we are dealing with occlusion here. Normally, when you're doing hand tracking, if hands start to overlap each other, if I try to do some clapping, anything like this, this becomes a problem. But right now, with the wrist trackers on, I can get uh, not only occlusion tracking and do fun things like this, like I'm about to do a magic trick, I can also um, get my hands much farther away and the hands stay there. Normally, again, without these wrist trackers, the hands would be um, disappearing if I get too far out of the field of view. So the fact that I can cover my entire field of view with my hands and in fact, I believe my hands are actually still being tracked um, even while they're down here because we do have some cameras pointing down. It's just really nice. So you imagine again for something like a performer, um, this is quite wonderful because a performer wouldn't need to worry about always keeping their hands inside the field of view. They could just kind of act more naturally and the wrist trackers are going to help with uh, continuing to track their hands. Um, although, you know, the way things are set up right now, I believe you can only have two wrist trackers so you would have to choose, for example, if you're going to try to do a full body performance, whether to have those wrist trackers um, on your feet to get some, some you know, foot capture, um, or if you're going to do them up here. Though. Although, frankly, to really have them work well on your feet, you always need to have your head pointed a little bit down to capture that motion, um, as seen in, in this other video I was playing with the other day um, through the Vive business streaming system. But in any case, just wanted to make sure I was clarifying that the, the uh, wrist trackers are actually working wonderfully for their primary purpose of making the hand tracking better. And uh, hooray! Thanks, HTC. Pretty, pretty cool device. Looking forward to playing with this more. Cheers.